and welcome to lecture number three. Again, this is lecture number three. And this is a mathematics course, a mathematics 164 at pre-calculus uh, pre at New Jersey City University. Today our topic is the rules of exponent or integral exponents. And we are going to learn a few rules that we have. Before we start, I'm going to explain what is an integral exponent. Uh, for example, when we have a variable A, that's our base. Here we have a variable A squared, or A to the power two. So again, A will be the base and two will be the square. So the exponent again is the two, and the base again is A. So exponents and power are the same. So a square means we are multiplying a twice. A cube means we are multiplying a three times. So a times a times a is a cube. So a raised to the power n will be a times a times a times a up to n times or n factors. So an example he also given is, if I have negative three to the power four, it means I'm going to multiply three four times. The negative sign would not affect the power because there's no parentheses. So I have the neg negative, and here we have three times three times three times three, and that'll give me 81. Now, if I have negative three parentheses raised to the power four, it means the negative also affects the power. Or I would say the power affects the negative. So we know that anytime we have a negative and the power is an even number, the sign will change to positive. So four is an even number. So this means negative times negative is positive, times negative is negative, times another negative is positive. So anytime the exponent or the power is an even number, if we have a negative value to be positive. So here we get 81. So these are some of the integral rules here. Uh, for example, if I have two values. A can be any value or any real number. So if I have two values and they are multiplied and they have exponent, then I'm going to add the exponent. So A to the power M, again, A can be any value. M can be any positive value. So A to the power M times A to the power N will be A power M plus N. Here, the base have to be the same. So for example, if I have three to the power two times two to the power two, I cannot add the exponent, I cannot add it. Why? Again, because the, the base is not the same. So the base have to be the same, the A and A, then we can add the powers. And also we have to make sure the base is not equal to zero. And this, pertaining to if we are dividing. Here also we can see the base is the same, A and A. So A to the power M divided by A to the power N, we are going to subtract the denominator power or exponent from the numerator exponent. So it will be A M minus N. A to the power M minus N. This is if M is greater than N. Now, if m power is the same as n power, then the answer will be one because they will cancel each other and it's one. But if the m is less than n, then we are going to get a reciprocal value because when we subtract, we are going to get a negative value. So it will be one over a n minus m. Now, if I have two bases here, the base are different, A and B, it can be any value. In the parenthesis to the power M, it means the power affects everything in the parenthesis. So here we have only two 
let's say two values so a and b so it will be a to the power m b to the power m because the m affects all the values in the parentheses the same thing applied to division also so a divided by b to the power m and the m will affect both a and b so a to the power m divided by b to the power m and now if i have a base and an exponent raised to another exponent so here we have a base a raised to an exponent m parenthesis to another exponent n this means we have an exponent raised to another exponent so we multiply the exponents so here we get the base a m times n so these are the five rows here again we have two base they are the same they are multiplied we had the exponent we have two base they are the same they are dividing then we subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator exponent we have a base in the parenthesis more than one in this case it's two raised to an exponent it means the exponent will affect everything inside the parenthesis the same thing they are dividing or multiplying the exponent affect everything in the parenthesis now if i have a base raised to an exponent and raised to another exponent then we multiply all the exponents even if you raise to another third exponent, then we multiply all the three exponents. So this is a very good example. Uh, we have five questions here. So we are going to solve them one at a time, applying the five rules that we just learned. So the first question, five to the power six, divided by five to the power four. Again, the base is the same, five. So we put down the five. Then we subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator exponent so we get six minus four uh, next question the same thing division again so we have s square raised to the power s to the power fifth now yeah the reason why we have reciprocal because again the denominator exponent is greater than the numerator so even if i write two minus five i will get x to the power negative three then the reciprocal of a negative exponent will give me one over s to the power three. So it's the same as doing one over, then you change, instead of numerator minus denominator, we say denominator minus numerator. But again, it will give you the same as a one over s cube. Or as I said earlier, we can say s square divided by s to the power fifth is equal to s to the power two minus five we apply the same rule as a our answer will be s to the power negative three then we take the reciprocal and we saw that rule when the exponent is negative we take a reciprocal of the uh, the base and exponent so let's go to the third one here we have the rule that the four the exponent four will affect everything in the parentheses so our answer will be s to the power four divided by y to the power four. Then indeed the same concept, we have three s square y cube, a parenthesis, parenthesis is open and close to the power four. So the power four will affect everything inside the parenthesis. So here we can see we have three to the power four, s square to the power four, y cube to the power four. And we have the rule that if an exponent is raised to another exponent, in this case, s square to another power of four, we multiply the exponent. So our answer here will be 81, which is three to the power of four. Two times four is eight, so x to the power eight. And three times four is 12, so y to the power 12. Then our last question, three cube times three squared. So since the base is the same, we just had the exponent. So we get three plus two. So the exponent will be five, three to the power fifth. Also, we have a zero exponent. Now a zero exponent is very simple. Anytime we have any value raised to the power zero, the answer is one. So even if I have a million raised to the power zero, the answer is one. If I have x raised to the power zero, the answer is one. So that's our definition here, that a to the power zero is one. And also zero raised to the power zero, there's no answer, it's undefined. 
So any value character exponent, uh, I mean, exponent of zero, raised to an exponent of zero, the answer always is one. So we have also a negative exponent, as we said earlier, it's a reciprocal. So a to the power negative, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of it, then that will give me one over a to the power n. Now, if I have a divided by b to the power n, I'm going to turn upside down the a and b. So it will give me b divided by a to the power n to change the negative exponent to positive. We turn our a and b upside down. So the answer will be B over A, positive N. So these are some of the rules that we just went through. In total, we saw the multiplication rule. The base are the same. We had exponents. If we have a parenthesis raised, raised to an exponent, the exponent will affect everything inside the parenthesis. Whether it's multiplication or division, it will affect everything. When we have a negative exponent, we find the reciprocal of the value. When we are dividing, we subtract, again, the base have to be the same. Then we subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator exponent. When we have a base raised to an exponent and raised to another exponent, we multiply the exponents. Now, any variable or value raised to the power zero, the answer is always one. Now, I have some item, in this case, division in the parentheses, but raised to the negative exponent. So I'm going to turn my parentheses upside down. So simplify the following. So all exponents are positive. So here we can see we have negative. This means I'm going to find the reciprocal. Oh, first of all, I will just multiply negative two by everything. So we get negative two times three, will give me negative six. Negative two times negative four, will give me positive eight. Negative two times five, will give me negative 10. Then I find the reciprocal if I want to change all the exponent to positive. So since this is two to the power negative six, it's the same as one over two to the power six times x to the power eight. Since y is raised to the power negative 10, then it will be one over y to the power 10. So our final answer will be x to the power eight divided by 64 y to the power 10. Two raised to the power six is 64. Now let's see the second question. The second question we have zero. So x squared y raised to the power zero means everything in the parentheses becomes one, as we said earlier. If the exponent is zero, it doesn't matter what, whether it's a value or character, the answer is one. Here we multiply two by everything, so we get four squared, negative two times two, give me negative four, and y is by itself, so it's one. So two times one is again two. So this will be our final answer. Actually, we can simplify the two, so we get one eight. So we get x eight, uh, then eight y squared. So this is another example. So here we can use division. I'm looking for the same base. Y and Z, I can't do anything because the base are different. But I have Y up and Y down. The exponent is five and two. So I'll subtract five minus two. Since two is down, five is up, so five minus two. So we get Y cubed. We get two Z, Z up and down. But up exponent is 13, the down exponent is six. So it will be 13 minus six. So that will give me S to the power seven. As we said earlier, the exponent affect everything here. So we get negative square is positive, two square is four, five square is 25, two times three is y to the power six. Here we are going to multiply 
4 s cubed by 2 s to the power 4 times s squared. Now I can say this is a multiplication. So first, I can multiply these two together. I'll get 2 s again, 4 and 2, they are multiplied, so it will be 6. So I'll get 2 x to the power 6. Then I have multiplication again because parenthesis is multiplication. So 2 times 4 is 8. S to the power cube times S to the power 6 will give me X to the power 9 because we're going to get 6 times 3, which is 9. So again, this is the end of uh, our exponent rules. And it's a very short lecture. And the most important thing we learn here is the major five rules. When we have a base that they are the same, Multiplication, we had the exponent, division, we subtract. Anything raised to the power zero is always one. When exponent raised to another exponent, we multiply. So again, wish everybody the best. And I will see you all in the next